So I ask you guys, what is your thoughts on the NFL license and just the Madden series in general and EA? Well, you're going to get your wish uh, regarding the license, uh, NFL and FIFA license. Uh, the ex- the extension ends in December of this year. So unless they do another extension, NFL and FIFA rights will no longer be exclusive to EA, which is good. Uh, I'd like to see what Konami does with soccer again, if they have the FIFA license. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, and we were talking earlier, uh, you know, Madden K first came out on the Apple II back in 88, if you can believe that. Mm. So it... it Madden's got a got a pedigree. Madden the series is older than most of the people who play it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, um, a little bit a little bit of an adjustment here. Um, so EA did EA and the NFL did actually renew their license um, together. So they'll be together, I think, for five more years till twenty twenty six. Oh, okay. okay. I heard. Now, FIFA, FIFA and EA, yes, you're right. Th- those two have ended their, uh, their partnership. And the, the reality of it is that EA felt that, that the FIFA name is not necessarily necessary for them to make a good soccer game because no one really plays like the soccer games for FIFA, like the, the actual FIFA tournament. More or less, they play it for like the, the clubs that you can still play. So it's, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's called like, um, yeah, was it uh, football or soccer, like FC or for something? I, I I apologize, I don't know the exact name on there. So, but I think we're all in agreement whether you want to start, uh, whether you know EA needs to let go of the NFL license. In reality, they know how to make money. Like, <laughs> let's just be honest for ourselves. EA know how to make knows how to make money. And that's the reason why they keep getting the license. The real kicker, I think, is going to be different is the fact that NCAA is going to be coming back. Yeah. I heard about and, that. Mm-hmm. And that will give an opportunity. Now, don't get me wrong. I know Madden's still going to get the NCAA. EA is still going to get the NCAA like, love because you can still port from NCAA to Madden and then continue career from there. Mm-hmm. But... This gives an opportunity for other companies like 2K or the the group that's making maximum football um, a chance to really show other or show the NFL that they can make a football game that's worthy of playing. And I mean, you said that Madden had been down since like 2000. What I said 18. I said 18. That's me just throwing a ball where I think it started going downhill. I want to say if you have a different date than that, please it went do down tell. before that. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, so whenever NCAA stopped making football games, whenever they said that it was uh, they, that they had to stop doing it, like I think that's a part of when Madden started really going down. And most okay. people look at Madden as like the B game anyways compared to like NCAA. Okay. So for the, but, for, for the viewers, we're looking at the 360 PS3 era of NCAA? Are we talking about PS2? What, what, what era are we talking about? I think it is the PS3 uh, 360 okay. era. Okay. Yeah. I, I want to say so. That, that era has been that era was so long. Like yeah. <laughs> it feels like it was so long ago. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Even okay. though know, it started in 2006, but how long ago was 2006? Yeah. Exactly right. Okay. <laughs> exactly right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's yeah. Like super old. <laughs> yeah. It's not those teenagers that are younger than the PS3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, so I, I think since NCAA and literally when they got the NFL license, like back in 2006, 2007 ish, around that range, is when Madden had always just kind of you know rinse and repeated. And I think that's the reason why 2K was able to get in there and just show them like, hey, this is what's up, like, and take over the realms of like, say, uh, a NBA game or when. Uh, Konami took over the P, uh, the soccer the soccer series for a while with the P, uh, PES, I think is what it's called. Yeah, mm-hmm. PES. Because yeah. mm-hmm. for a while there, I would say for like a good five, at least a five-year period that I can think of, um, that's what I heard. Like Pro Evolution Soccer was like the thing. And FIFA hasn't grown since then. And I'm granted like Madden and FIFA makes them a crap ton of money. But if you look at any of the people who are actual like fans of it, they they play it and they buy it because it 
it's just kind of a routine now. It's like us watching Raw or SmackDown or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, for the wrestling fans out there. Um, it's kind of a routine now, right? But as far as like improvements go, like it has, we haven't seen improvements. They keep saying the same thing every year. Like it's a step in the right direction. Let's be honest with ourselves. It hasn't been a step in the right direction. Yeah. yeah. They, they keep recycling things where they're just like, well, this is something new. It's like, dude, you guys released this like 10 years ago and yeah. you're, you're polishing it and saying it's new, but it's not. Yeah. Reselling us features. Yes. So my thing is, is that, you know, and this goes out to you guys too. You know, the question is, is should we really blame like EA and NFL for constantly making money? Because that's what they do. Because there's still opportunities for other companies to make a really good football game with full customizations that can try to get as much of the audience as, as possible. I know 2K tried with a um, with a also our star our all star football pro football 2K8. But I mean, games like to me that I really enjoyed, like Blitz the League. Oh yeah, uh, um, yeah. Blitz the League yeah, one yeah. and two, like totally took a completely different view of it. But I enjoyed the gameplay. It's very arcadeish. Don't get me wrong. But they created the league. They created <laughs> like stories. They made they made it fun to play. And I think those kinds of games still can prove to can be out there to prove that you know, hey. EA doesn't have a full lock on this. Like, check this out. If we outsell, or if we even get remotely close to what EA does, then maybe they'll switch. But hey, you know, other companies just don't, they haven't done it. Yeah. Closest we had recently was Mutant Football League. Yes. I love Mutant Football League. I, oh, I, I ended up playing through three years, three seasons, and one sitting in Dynasty mode. It's just, it's it's fun. It's, it's kind of mindless, but not really, and it's so much fun. So, I, yeah, I would love to see a Blitz the League revival. I, exactly. I think it's interesting because, you know, the the famous phrase that we get that gets used or, or thrown around a lot in the gaming is vote with your wallet, right? But I think that also goes along with FOMO, you know, or to your favorite word, routine, because the fact that because they have the exclusive – what other football games you're going to play except Madden. And I think that is the problem where us gamers fall into that and just do it just to do it and rely on hope that maybe this one will be better than the last one. And, and it keeps going and going and going. It's like a a vicious cycle. So I want to ask you guys, it's part of this part is part of this problem. The gamers fault for just, just just taking it for what it is and not showing that we want something different we want them to do more i think with this new generation it's a little bit different because there's so much involved with madden alone whether you're talking about esports or you're talking about content creators on youtube um i think that generation this generation it makes it a little bit harder for us to move on to something a little bit different or new because there is always going to be uh, a will and a want to watch like people who play madden or learn little things about madden and the my team which is you know i said my team it's not my team ultimate team the ultimate team for madden cash cow (laughs) yes the ultimate team for madden and also fifa is just like there's such a huge culture for it It, it's it's i think it's almost impossible to take it i was like let's just try to get rid of tiktok like you you just can't right now like (laughs) Mm -hmm. like there's such a wave it's hard to like do so i imagine just that now i still have a full faith and belief that someone can still make a game that goes above and beyond what that is. And then they can get people hooked onto it because other football leagues like the U S U S FL and XFL will be opening up um, soon. And granted it's not, it's not pro football. It's not Madden, but you know, you know something basically when we play video games like baseball and stuff like that more or less you are either wanting to support your team or you're just wanting to create something that you can't do in real life mm-hmm. like you know 
I, 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 I can't be a pro basketball player, but I sure as hell can create myself a, as one and, and, and now, try to make myself awesome. Now, I'm one, awesome. I'm the GOAT. <laughs> now, one of the defense that could be in their favor to me personally, and and I talked about this. I think I talked about you about this now about one solution I think would ha- be a good idea, mm-hmm. in my opinion. I could be 100% wrong. Please leave a comment down below if you think it's a terrible idea. But the fact that, one— I know making video games is hard, okay? I'm, we're not – all three of us can agree that we're not sitting up here telling, like, how you how to make a video game. We're not – that's not our thing. We're only going by what we see and what what is the problem. Now, I understand that making a game every single year can be tough. It's crunch time, you know? You got to mm-hmm. update the roster. You got to do the graphics. You got to – I get it. Even though you could – people can say, well, it looks like they copy and paste. Well, copy and paste is not copy and paste. <laughs> it takes time to still copy and paste it. So it still takes time. Um, But every year doing that, okay, they done it every year more than probably Call of Duty, ha- Call of Duty has, right? And the other thing, too, that is – um. That's really, I would say, really tough for them is the engine that they had to adapt to. And that is the Frostbite engine that they were forced to use. <laughs> and if people don't know the Frostbite engine, this has been used in the Battlefield games. And this game has floated into Mass Effect Andromeda. It has moved to Dragon Age Inquisition. And it has moved to this. And you could argue that this engine works best with Battlefield. This engine does not work for these three games. Also, too, it also uses on Anthem, too, for anybody else that, you know, that did it. (laughs) R.I.P. Anthem. But that engine does not work with that. And I was telling Nam uh, a while back that it's it's, it's interesting that they're using this Frostbite engine for this and not making their own engine for football only. You know, I would think they have enough resources. Like, let's make our own Matten engine for that. So... So one of my solutions, and I'm going to leave it to you guys to open up and, and put your comments in, is why are we not seeing more resource of trying to make this game better? The reason why Call of Duty is doing so well and it doesn't have too many problems. I'm not going to say it doesn't have problems. It does have problems. But at least you have more teams. You had, you know, Infinity Ward. You had Tri- Treyarchs. They are rotating an entry to a new ga- to their new game. Why are we not seeing something similar of that with EA of how come we're not having a second team working on the next Madden 24 while this team is finishing up 23 and maybe trying to get ready to work for 25. So I open this up to you guys. Is this, is this an excuse for them or do you guys have a better solution? What is your opinion on that kind of um, point of view of, of the developers dealing with this problem of this game coming out yearly? Uh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. You're going to have to re- restate that because I want to make sure I'm staying on target here. What okay. is my opinion on what What's, exactly? Okay, what is your opinion on the fact of it, it, this is an excuse for them of the engine being used by the Frostbite along with, you know, um, um, Oh, crap, now you made me forget the whole thing. I was going to say it. So, mean, so, basically, so basically what you're saying is, is like, you know, them using the Frostbite engine, is there is that just like the excuse for oh, them to continue? That and, that? Make it, and, and, that? And, the, and the struggle making it every yearly. Like, yeah. uh, is this a uh, weak excuse for them of why these games are getting worse and worse and worse to them in that aspect? If not, true, is money is involved. They don't have to say what? It's their excuse this generation. Okay. I mean, mm-hmm. Um, honestly, it comes down to production, output, revenue. They could, if they really wanted to, they could easily, uh, at the start or in the middle, probably at the start of each console generation or whatever, put out their main game, new engine, and then subsequent each year, every two years, put out an actual new game. And the previous two and the, the two years in between, actual roster and uh, updates and some patches, things like that. So, if you for want, example, you can even sell it for twenty bucks. So, for example, you're saying that let's say twenty three is out, 
So they would update it to carry the 24 and then a new Madden game that would be 25. Is that what, if that's what you're talking about? Yeah, we, we okay. would get a Madden 23 and then we get roster updates and support until late 2024 when Madden 2025 comes out. And, you know, that, that, that eliminates a lot of crunch on the teams. They can properly polish these features. They're going to inevitably resell to us. And it eliminates any issues or eliminates the possibility of issues with, you know, frostbite engine, for example, you know, or, or whatever other excuse they're going to cook up. Now that's a good, I, that's a good example because the fact that if we really think about it, the football games graphically are not that huge of a difference. So it would, it could work of just doing the roster for next year yeah. because like what is 23 and 24 really going to look differently? Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be a nine day engine. thing. Say unless what? A new engine comes out every year. No, no, I no get reason. that. But graphically yeah. it's not going to be in day and night. I think we're in that generation where it, it's going to be really hard to make these graphics nowadays a day and night thing. Like, Oh my God, this is totally different from this one. Graphically. I think we're out yeah. of that era now. I well, it, it's, I mean, we're, we're at the point of diminishing returns, I believe is what you're kind of getting at. We're diminishing returns. We're now at, with the current console generation of Xbox series and PS5, we're at, oh, 4K, but it's ready for 8K. It's like, dude, I know people who still don't have a 4K TV yet, much less an 8K TV, okay. you know? It, that, I mean, that's cool. That's great. That's awesome. Good for you. Yay. You know, cool. Uh, yeah, now I'm caught the reference. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> But, you know, ultimately it's diminishing returns, you know, it, okay. it's, it, it's, it's washing one hand with, uh, it's washing one hand with the other. Uh, and I think it would work out better if they just did roster updates. You could actually justify your ultimate teams and your season passes and all that other crap. If you de do proper roster updates and, and just do support and but, they could they could charge know. for that roster too hands down oh, you know they will yeah, yeah 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 i mean it's it's work but you wouldn't it, it would be a lot easier to swallow 30 dollars uh in the inter between years than a full 70 dollars 60 70 dollars every year gotcha nom my friend what do I you mean, what's your final what's your final thoughts on that i mean greed is always going to be the, like the the thing right every um, company baby every company yeah greed, greed's gonna be the thing i mean all right we can't say, all right so i'm gonna say this because i sent this text message earlier this morning ea madden should be ashamed of themselves because i was playing 2k because 2k came out today on on the 9th which tells you when we recorded this <laughs> and it's different like it there is game changes that are different like my era's like the career mode is a little bit different. The city is completely rebuilt and different. And I, the conversation that you and I had, um, Jeremy, when we were after uh, Top Gun Maverick recommended, um, <laughs> I recommend is, it too. Is is honestly kind of what uh, Drawn was saying, though. In a way, Drawn, like honestly, I want to ask you here: when Men comes out, compared to other video games, that there's constant updates like actual legit updates what exactly are they doing like do you mean like what are they doing on their like during that time is that what you're asking i mean you update you update rosters and you update injuries and stuff like that but what are you're not up, you're not updating real like horrifyingly like crazy gameplay okay yeah like you throw little patches here and there and i know i understand the process of patching is, is a lot more complex than it than i'm making it sound but you don't need the entire madden team to do this like, you don't need the entire Madden team to focus on this. And I do agree with you guys that there needs to be a new engine. The thing with the engine is, is obviously when they do a new engine, it's going to have to be something multi, multi, multiple use, right? Because it can't just be for one game. It has to be for all the games that they have created. Yeah. I mean, we can look at, I mean, I'm going to throw out there AEW's uh, Fight Forever. Like, they're creating a whole new engine for that, and they're spending over 100, I think 100 million on just the engine alone mm -hmm. to create, create a basis so this entire time my question would be like are they working on something more than just a frostbite engine because it's past the time where whether or not we truly feel like it's something that's going to work or it's not going to work or this should be a good foundation or not mm -hmm. and 
for us, I, I feel like our opinions, I don't, I'll, I'll speak for myself here, but for my opinion, it doesn't seem like the Frostbite engine is something that's going to be a good foundation for them in this new generation of video games. And with that, let me say for people that might be yelling it out at me, I, I am aware of this. And I'll let you guys know the new Death Space remaster is also using that engine also. That's coming yeah. early January, the release of Dead Space, the remaster. Remember. So I don't Pretty know how cool. it's going to be. So, But it is interesting you say that because, yes, I 100% agree. To save money, you, were want, you want to spend the much of this engine that can be used across the board. Because EA has a lot of publishers or a lot of developers under them, right? There's a lot of them. Because I, I don't know if Apex Legend uses the engine. I don't know. I 100% don't know. I don't know what response engine actually is over there. Um, but it's weird to me because you would think Madden, probably the most popular fr series out of all their libraries of games, you would think that one would get the most taken care of when it comes to engine and everybody else's second thought. But it's not the case. But it just makes you think that, like, what engine were they using way before the Frostbite engine started coming out for that? Like, yeah, it's outdated, but was that the engine that was working for all the other EA games? Like, Army of Two and, <laughs> you know, Freedom Fighters and all these other ones. It's like, what engine were they using at that time? So I honestly I honestly thought, you know, at least Mad would get their own engine while everybody else gets whatever. And even, even like, Bioware, with their RPG levels, I thought they would at least get their own engine coming in. But I understand costs that the engine across. I just think it's pretty interesting in that aspect. And so yeah. a lot of because a lot of companies don't have there's a lot of studios that don't have that big of an icon that is Matten when it comes to sports. So yeah. you would think that would get the most love and get the most taken care of. But that's not but the case in this scenario. Generally, unless you're EA uh, or you have the time or the resources to develop your own engine, you're using Epic's Unreal Engine. Apex Legends uses or Epic's Unreal. Unreal Engine. Yeah, you're, you're talking yeah. about the Unreal 5. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Apex uses Unreal Four. Uh, I think the um, for uh, the not for spoken, maybe for spoken. Some other stuff is using Unreal Five, but that's not neither here nor there. Uh, you know, you have your Unreal Engine, you have your Source Engine from Valve mm -hmm. and Frostbite. I'm not sure. There are probably several other engines out there, but mm -hmm. Unreal is one of the main, one of your big mamma jammas. Yeah. yeah, and that makes yeah. sense because you know, of course, you want to you want to make your own house so you don't pay the extra money every time you use their engine. I get that hundred percent. It's just EA for the billion dollars that they have. It is quite interesting that they wouldn't spend the money to do that. But then again, I mean, what's not broken <laughs> is yeah. still making the money. So what do I know? True. And and to correct me, I got let me correct myself. Unreal Engine for Apex Legends Mobile. Valve Source Engine for the PC. Mm, I see. A PC okay. console. Okay. So, so uh, yeah. So with that, I leave it to my to my pe my viewers. Leave a comment down below. Tell me your opinion about the NFL. Is it time for them to get rid of this license after 2025? Is it time to move on? And I say to developers out there, if you think you can do it, I would love to see what y'all can do. Show them up. Show the NFL that there is more options out there. And if yeah. I can create a hashtag, I would say free the NFL video game. But it's pointless now because it's wrapped till 2025. So, yeah. <laughs> so maybe we get closer. Another blitz the league. I, yeah. I would buy that. Yeah. Somebody buy somebody buy the blitz uh, name and then build that. Like I would love yeah. that. Because you know the Blitz Arcade 1-Up, the NFL won't even let you have late hits and some of the other things that made Blitz fun. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, exactly. 